Hello children. This is your ninth lesson. Flow charts. What are we going to learn today? What is an algorithm? What is a flow chart? What are the symbols used in flow charts? What are the rules of flow charting? What are the steps in drawing a flow chart? Last one. What is a loop? Program. Here we are talking about computer program. A program is a collection of instructions given to a computer to perform a certain function. A program has to be written in a particular manner using a particular set of commands and instructions so that a computer is able to understand it. What is an algorithm? The steps involved in solving a particular problem when laid down stepwise without any particular syntax rules is called an algorithm. Or it can be defined as a formal set of instructions that can be followed to perform a specific task such as solving a logical or a mathematical problem. What is a flow chart? A flow chart is a diagrammatic representation of a problem solving process in which steps are laid out in a logical order. Flow charts, as the name says, are charts using different shapes to show different actions. To solve the problem connected to each other with arrows, to show the flow or to explain what to be done next. Therefore, flow charts are pictorial representation of steps in solving a problem. So, flow charts are used in analyzing, designing, documenting or managing a process or a program in any field. By looking at a flow chart, you can visualize what is going on in that particular process and perhaps find any flaws or errors in the process. Any bottlenecks or processes slowing down the system or other less obvious features. Let's see how to draw a flow chart. There are different shapes to explain different processes or actions taken to solve the problem. You can see the chart displaying on your screen. Shape, second one, uh, meaning of the shape, third one, purpose. Okay, first one, first shape, oval, meaning start or stop box, purpose. This is used at the beginning and at the end of a flow chart. Next shape, rectangle meaning process box purpose all the mathematical calculations or actions are given inside this box example add two numbers next shape parallelogram input or output box to show all the data that has to be input by the user as well as all that output or printout on the screen Next shape, diamond. Meaning of the shape, decision box. To show all the statements where a decision of true or false is taken by the computer, the decision box has two control lines showing the action to be taken for each decision. Arrows. Meaning of the shape, flow lines. The arrows are called flow lines and are used to connect the boxes in a flow chart. Last shape, circle. Meaning, connectors. When drawing a large diagram running into several pages, you need to connect the flow using them. Rules of flow charting. 
these rules are basic and simple. First one, one in, one out. This means that there should be only one entrance and one exit for each shape except for the start and stop. Second one, flow is from top to bottom or left to right. This means the flow chart should be drawn from top to bottom or from left to right. Third one, do not cross. Crossing of the flow lines or arrows are not allowed. Fourth one, use connectors. When drawing a flow chart on more than one sheet of paper, Use connectors to join pages. Steps in drawing a flow chart. You begin, in, begin the flow chart with the word start written inside the oval shape. Arrows show the flow of control or the order in which the steps are executed. If an input is required from the user, it is written inside the parallelogram. If a process or a calculation has to be performed, it is written inside a rectangular box. If a decision is to be made, you have to write it in a diamond shaped box. Normally, the result of the decision is True or false. To stop the flow chart, you have to write word stop inside the oval shape. Draw a flow chart to input two numbers and add them and print the answer. Here there are two diagrams. Both diagrams are same. You can follow any method you want. I'll explain the left diagram from top to bottom. The beginning of the flow chart is shown with the word start written inside the oval shape. Notice the arrow pointing down. This is the flow of the diagram showing what to do next. Now there is enter first number written inside a parallelogram indicating an input from the user. Next, there is enter second number written inside another parallelogram indicating an input from the user. Next, there is first number plus second number inside a rectangle. This is a process or the computer has to do a calculation. Next, there is print number written inside a parallelogram. When you see the word print, you should know that this is an output. Here, you have to be careful because input and output are both shown in the parallelogram. Next stop. O N written inside the oval shape indicating the end of the flow chart. So this very simple flow chart is written to accept two numbers from the user and to display the total of those numbers. The chart in the right side is exactly the same written in a bit differently. You can use any method you like. Both are correct. What is a loop? A loop is a sequence of statements which is specified once but may be carried out several times depending on a condition. With a loop, there is always a counter. The counter indicates how many times the loop will be executed. Now let's look into the given flow chart. Here you are required to print the name of your school 10 times. 
So instead of giving 10 print commands, you put the print command inside a loop. First, you start the flowchart. Then there is an input saying input name of the school. Then there is a process. Here you initialize a counter. You start the counter with 1. After that, you print the name of the school. Then there is another process. Here you increment the count by 1. The method is counter equals counter plus 1. Now the value of the counter is 2. Next there is a decision to make. Inside the diamond you check the value of the counter. If the value of the counter is less than 10 or equal to 10, the flow is taken just above the statement printing the name of the school. When you are drawing flow charts, you have to be very careful with the arrows. If the arrow is pointed to the wrong place, the entire process will be wrong or you will end up with unexpected results. Now, according to the flow, the name of the school is printed once more. The counter is incremented. Now the value is 3. Again in the diamond the value of the counter is checked. Still the value is less than or equal to 10. So again the flow is routed. Likewise the flow will be looped until the value of the counter reaches 11. When the value of the counter reaches 11, the condition becomes false inside the diamond. Now, the flow, ch flow chart stops. Here, by changing the value in the diamond, you can control the number of times you print the name of the school. If you want to print the name of the school thousand times, simply replace the number 10 with 1000. Please go through the lesson again and do the exercises. They are simple and fun to do. Thank you.